Since the pandemic happened, I'm spending most of my day on my desk doing work or browsing the web. Smart people say you should invest in a good bed because you spend a third of your life in there. By that logic, I thought I should spend in a good desk setup like your mouse because I'm probably spending as much time on my desk too. Hi, my name is Shu, and this is my new favorite mouse, Logitech MX Argo. So I have a MacBook Pro that I use every day and I used to use its trackpad for everything, but then something happened. My wrist and fingers started to hurt a little bit after using for long hours. Now I know this is probably just me because this trackpad is really well made and usually very comfortable to use. But after using it for hours and hours, repeating these movement, it can be very tiring for your wrist. So I started to look for some alternatives to the trackpad. Ideally, something that lets me do everything that trackpad can do and also easy on my wrist. And this is what I found. Logical MX Ergo. My first impression of this mouse is that this is huge. This is chunky. It's definitely the biggest mouse I've ever had. But I really like its size because it perfectly fits in my palm. But my favorite part is that it tilts 20 degrees, which feels more natural and closer to your wrist default angle compared to being flat. You can connect this mouse to your computer using Bluetooth, and it has a quite a long battery, which can last up to four months after one charge. Now you've probably noticed this giant trackball. You can use this to move the cursor instead of moving the whole mouse, which feels much easier on my wrist compared to the trackpad because you're only moving your thumb. And then there's this little button next to the trackball, which enables the precision mode. Basically, this slows down the movement of the cursor, which can be helpful when you're doing something that requires more accuracy, like copying a word. Like many mouses, this one also has backward and forward button and the wheel at the center. And you can customize the functions of each button using logical software. So I modified my setting and now pressing the wheel will show all the windows and desktops, also, I don't use the precision mode at all, so I customize it so it will launch my favorite app called Command E, which is kind of like Alfred. You can use it to find a file on your computer, Google something, or you can connect it with apps like Spotify, Twitter, and Notion, so you can instantly go to where you want to go. So whenever I want to open Twitter, I can press the shortcut on my mouse and go there instantly, or I could open my favorite playlist on Spotify too. Also, you can customize each button for different apps. So I have various settings for the tools I use, such as Roam Research and Final Cut Pro. This incredible customizability definitely improved my workflow and overall productivity. Now, I use this mouse for almost everything I do. For my work, which is mostly video editing, it's pretty comfortable to use. I was so used to edit with a trackpad, it took some time to get used to this mouse, but it's actually pretty comfortable. Productivity-wise, I mostly use my keyboard for editing, but the shortcuts you can assign for each button can be handy time to time. But my favorite use of this mouse is when I'm doing research or browsing on the internet. I can navigate the internet with just two fingers, without moving my wrist or arm. Or if I wanted, I could lay back on my chair and watch YouTube with the mouse on my armrest. I don't do this often though, because that makes me feel like I'm too lazy. Anyway, the most important thing for me is that my wrist doesn't hurt anymore after hours of use. Usually with a trackpad, I have to take breaks often when I'm doing research or browsing because my wrist gets painful. But that doesn't happen with this mouse. It's probably because of the ergonomic design, especially the 20 degree tilt and the trackball reduces the burden on my wrist and fingers. If you're considering of getting this mouse, I just want to say it's probably going to take a lot of time to get used to using it, especially the trackball. At first, you might find it very hard to move the cursor to where you want it to go. So I recommend spending a few days to get used to it and tweaking the pointer speed and find the best setting for you. And eventually you become comfortable with it. In terms of price, I have to admit it's a little bit pricey. Alternatively, there is a cheaper version of the mouse, which is about $28. But it's not Bluetooth and it's flat and doesn't tilt, which is why I didn't get this version. Also, there is a similar ergonomic mouse from Logical. 
It has more of a vertical design without a trackball. I think this is a great mouse too if you can't get used to using a trackball. It costs about $90, so it's as expensive as the one I bought. But I think this is a great investment because your mouse is something you use almost every day for hours and hours. And a good mouse can go a long way in improving your productivity and your wrist problems if you're like me. I also got a bunch of other stuff like this separated keyboard and I ordered a second monitor which hasn't arrived yet. So I will make a video about it when I get that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching till the end and uh, please leave a like and a comment below and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!